Now I mentioned the microwave uh, hydrogen cracker. Uh, that's this device here. And let me zoom in so you can see this. Now I recently discovered this device by assuming that you might be able to uh, uh, have a better, a more efficient way to uh, extract hydrogen from tap water using microwish uh, led me to the discovery of the water fuel cell. But this device is quite interesting. I'm going to click on this. It's going to take me to a website. I'm going to zoom out so that uh, I can, uh, that you can view this website. Uh, and it's uh, it, the website opens up a a PDF file which explains the technology. This could be this uh, device that kind of looks like a strange alien device, uh, but it appears to disassociate hydrogen from water molecules, and it only takes up about 60 watts. And it apparently uses some type of uh, a magnetron device that uh, maybe uh, 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 maybe two magnetrons that uh, uh, use uh, microwaves to disassociate the water, uh, the hydrogen from the from the water. So it's basically fed direct uh, tap water. I think it, it may have to be filtered and, and purified. Uh, I don't believe there's any electrolytes to it, but it's quite interesting. If you want to look at it, uh, just, just type in these keywords, thermal gas cracker, and uh, you would, uh, or micro, microwave crack hydrogen, and it's from the Oxford Scientific uh, uh, Instruments for Innovators website, so it's, it's quite interesting. I can see about posting this PDF file online somewhere, and, and uh, you can explore yourself to see some of this technology. Um, now, the hydrosonic pump is quite interesting. If you, uh, a lot of you may be aware of the um, uh, of the water fuel cell. I'm going to uh, uh, click on. Um, well, let's uh, discuss that later. I'm first going to go to the quasi turbine because you may not, many of you may not have uh, been aware of uh, this technology. It's a basically a, uh, a sort of a rotary engine, and I'm going to zoom in. Let me find a, a good explanation of the technology here. I'm going to uh, stop the music for a second. And let me find the animation. Here we go. Let me zoom in so you can see the animation of this. Uh, let me. Now, the quasi turbine is, is really quite fascinating. It, it, it's a very simple uh, internal combustion engine. Uh, gas is fed in uh, through here, and I'm assuming uh, oxyhydrogen would be a good candidate for this. It's compressed as it travels up here. I'm going to follow the mouse up, and, and here's a spark plug. It could also be a, a laser. It ignites the gas, and or in which case an implosion would occur, and I'm assuming it would still force it in this direction. And then uh, down here, the water uh, would condense and just go back outside of the uh, the engine. You could use a micro turbine. Uh, micro turbines look, looks like they might be fairly expensive for a residential unit. That's why I picked the the quasi turbine. Um, as the uh, the main component of this uh, of this system that I that I designed, and I'm going to close this out and go back to the schematic again. Um, the um, now the uh, the um, the hydrosonic pump is quite interesting, and I and I uh, found this um, uh, by accident actually, and, and which is uh, uh, it was on a video that was posted. And it was called It Runs on Water. It was a British-made uh, television program that uh, uh, was produced in, I think, 1995. And uh, in it, uh, there were several technologies. So one was a water fuel cell. But the first technology that they described on here uh, was uh, the, the hydrosonic pump uh, invented by Jim Griggs out of, uh, I think it was out of uh, Georgia. It was, I, I think, uh, Athens. Um, and uh, the company is uh, still in business. Here's the video that I that I mentioned. I think there's a strong possibility. This is Arthur C. Clarke. That we're at a turning point in history. And I'm going to turn the volume down slightly. A revolution in human affairs. The discovery of totally new energy sources. Now, many people are skeptical. This is quite fascinating. The video. I, I encourage everyone to watch this. Equinox. It runs on water. You can you can find this on Google. Earth. Uh, I'm sorry, on Google uh, uh, video. 
Equinox that runs on water. And uh, in this video, uh, several uh, revolutionary technologies are, are discussed. The first one is the hydrosonic pump. And, uh, well, actually, this is probably, it's going to be a while before I can uh, stream the video, so I'm going to close this out. But I encourage everyone to, to, to watch this and find it online and, and see for yourself. But the hydrosonic pump, I, I do have their, their um, it's hydrodynamics.com uh, is, the, is the website. You can go there, look at the technology. You can also see it in, in that video that I just showed. And here's the website, it's, it's coming up. Well, it's taking a little while, so. Anyway, um, I hope you. Uh, I, I, I hope to post this somehow online and, and send the link. But um, I think this this system is uh, pretty. Uh, it, it, it's it's pretty accurate. I'm not sure about the numbers. Now I now I, I uh, I'll, I'll just zoom in one more time and uh, see if I can uh, show you what I what I've done at the top as far as the electrical input. I'm, I'm assuming that each water fuel cell might take up as many as 100 watts per unit. And uh, let me scroll over here. And so, and if you and if we if you able to get a microwave uh, hydrogen skimmer, uh, that's probably taking up about 60 watts. So if it's running a system, uh, a a a, a uh, 10,000 uh, watt generator an alternator, um, it's basically you're getting 10 times more. Uh, I'm sorry, 100 times more. Uh, uh, power that you're then you're putting into it. Now I don't know if that's uh, actually uh, possible or not. I need to look at the numbers and, and uh, somebody probably has to build such a system. But uh, such a system I think really is feasible to make. And so uh, hopefully somebody out there might make something like this. Uh, the uh, now the the, the dish uh, the solar dish that I made. Uh, it doesn't really exist. It, there's a sort of a conceptual design that's similar to this on the quasi turbine site that you might want to check out, but uh, none so far that I've seen is, is really a hybrid system uh, dish like what I've made here for residential use. And, and uh, I, I plan to uh, uh, make this component uh, online and design it further, but uh, really you don't, uh, with all the energy that you're getting from a 10 kilowatt generator, I uh, and from the water fuel cell, this device probably really isn't that necessary. So, anyway, thanks for looking, and um, I hope uh, this sparks some interest out there. Thanks.